France on Friday, a school teacher was beheaded in France for showing caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad during a lecture on freedom of expression. The incident sent shockwaves across the world. In the latest coming in, top French ministers attended a Security and Defence Council meeting with President Emmanuel Macron. Sources have now said that four school children were being held by the French police on suspicion of helping the attacker. French President Emmanuel Macron and the Interior Minister Gérald Darmanin also met with representatives of the French Muslim Council in Paris. Meanwhile, members of the European Parliament held a, min a minute of silence in tribute to the teacher, whose name was Samuel Paty. At the opening of the plenary session in Brussels, the European Parliament President David Sassoli said, and I quote, Terror is fought through education, through teaching, in which Samuel Paty believed, as he practiced it. Earlier, French President Emmanuel Macron denounced what he called an Islamist terrorist attack. He urged the people to stand united against extremism. Two days later, reports suggest that France is now preparing to expel around 231 foreigners on government's watch list for suspected extremist religious beliefs. Among the suspects, 180 people are currently in prison and 51 are due to be arrested. France's interior minister has reportedly asked his ministry to examine the people who wish to obtain the status of a refugee. More closely, remember, the 18-year-old who beheaded the history teacher was living in the country on refugee status. President Macron's centrist government has been under pressure from the conservative and far-right parties to take a tougher stance on non-nationals deemed to pose a security threat to the nation. After the incident, Macron mentioned that France was engaged in an existential battle against radical Islamist terrorism. The French president's statement comes just weeks after his controversial unveiling of a plan to defend France's secular values against what he termed as Islamist radicalism. While Macron is not the first French president to suggest this, the plan comes at a crucial juncture for France. Macron took office in 2017 after two years of terror attacks in the nation. Now seeking re-election in the year 2022, the French president has made the issue of fighting violent extremism his main objective. Macron's proposals include a stricter oversight of the schooling system across France, including close monitoring of sports organizations and restricted homeschooling all as a way to ensure that these do not end up becoming fronts for Islamist teachings. Macron's government will also clamp down on foreign funding of mosques, including the banning of foreign imams from teaching within France. Over the past five years, in attacks by Islamist militants or by lone wolf jihadists, more than 250 people have been killed on French soil. Many argue that the attackers have been radicalized online or outside of religious settings.